Hi, this video is for those of you who have woken up to find that you have a two out of 10 points on a reading response. There are a couple of different issues that happen. I mainly comment on the one about needing a dot doc. I need a document. Um, that is because when we upload those documents, I am able to use the Blackboard inline grading tool. And if you use, you know, a submitted text and different things like that, I can't fully access that information. I can't add in those notes and details. It's not that important in our first few weeks, so I continually just point that out and support you in getting there. But the further we go, the more I'm going to be really needing to step in and give you that support. You may also just not be following certain APA protocols. Overall, I'm not a big stickler for that kind of thing. I'm not really upset if you don't do it, but my aim is to support you and make sure you are capable of doing that, that it isn't an accident, that it isn't something you're doing and not knowing that it needs to be changed. Finally, it could be that you are giving me a PDF. And while I can sort of comment on that in the inline grading tool, if I need to copy edit, I cannot download that and then edit it from there. I need a document again in order to download it and then add any kind of notes that I want to add. So there are lots of reasons behind these things for helping me help you. But overall, a lot of things that I do in class, especially things like that I don't like, <laughs> like having um, the lockdown browser. Um, I don't really like things like that. I like open book exams. But I do these kinds of things because you could go into a class where someone says, this is the rule, X is the rule. And if you do not do X, you lose that assignment. They will not redo it. They will not talk to you about it. They will not support you as you figure it out. They will simply say no, and you will lose those points. Um, there are lots of reasons for that kind of attitude and they can do as they see fit. But I wanna be the person who makes sure that you are watching these things, that you are asking questions. You may not know how to take your Google Doc into a doc that is uploadable. Sometimes those things are a little bit trickier than we expect. You may be using pages and you've gotta navigate Apple to these things. I do that a lot because I'm on Apple. So these are things that I'm familiar with. But most of all, I just want you to be paying attention to those details. I want you to be confident about how you tackle those details and how you submit assignments and make those interactions in class because I never want you to actually end up with something like a two. That is a number I've picked because it's odd, it's weird, and I know as I do my sweeps on grades that that is never an acceptable grade that no one's earning a two on their own. It is a two that I have put in there as a placeholder to make sure that you and I are communicating. And so I put that in and then I know at some point I have got to change that and have a conversation with you. So as you look at these different reasons and different supports that I'm sending to you, if any of it doesn't make complete sense or you have any struggles with that at all, I'm here to help you with that. Um, if I don't know how to do it, I am happy to hunt it all down with you, to talk to tech support with you. There are so many avenues that we have to find this information. So I'm here for it and I hope that you will read those notes and get back to me with either that you need more help or that you do know how to do that and we can work from there. But no, you don't have a two. <laughs> That's not your final grade.